Welcome everyone. This is John Sheely at IamADayTrader.com. I'm going to do a short video about trading execution at a order called MIT, Market If Touched. Let's talk about how this happens. But as you know, we must review our risk disclaimers. Trading carries a high degree of risk and trading may not be suitable for all persons. Past returns are not indicative of future results. Please review our risk disclaimer very carefully. Additionally, I place our hypothetical disclaimer as well. In IamADayTrader.com, we create a great amount of research and the creation of indicators and strategies. Like other research firms, we use hypothetical data to create our discoveries. Please review our hypothetical disclaimer very carefully. What I'm showing you here is the E-mini S&P. I'm looking at a chart of 550 tick bars and you can see prices are right at the highs. Let's say that you had a order to sell at that particular value right here. I'm making it a little larger here. For example, you can see the highs there were 23.72 and a half. Let's say you had a order to sell at limit 23.72.50, but it was touched, but there was a lot of contracts in front of you, and so you have sold nothing. That's what the MIT can do. TradeStation has this ability. Many other platforms have an MIT order, and what happens is if it touches it and it just touches it once and it's not filled, it will immediately, it will then go to market. What happens though if prices just basically drive right through there. Let me show you. Let's say this is your limit sale and this is the current price. If the market basically explodes, you're going to go ahead and get filled. So if prices move up and go straight up, like in a very fast market, you're going to go ahead and get filled at your limit order. Because if prices move straight up, where there are thousands of contracts hitting every ask again and again and again, you're going to go ahead and get filled at that limit order. The MIT that we're talking about is if prices runs up, stays around for a while, and then begins to fall down. That is when you'll go at market. But if price runs straight up like it does in crude oil, the currencies, and different markets, and from time to time the E-mini S&P, you're going to go ahead and get filled at your limit order. The MIT is when prices hit it. It is not filled yet. There are thousands of contracts still waiting, and then you'll go at market. Again, the reason we like that is because if I had a limit order that was rather special and that I want to basically get out of my position based upon if prices hit that area there that's one way that if I was thinking that the market is not going to go any higher than that and it starts to go down and I've sold nothing because I, I didn't get filled yet that's what the MIT does if it touches and it's not reaching your profit objective you're going at market but in the e-mini S&P's there are so many contracts that all it does is touch it once it's not filled I'll go short or take profit, which is the MIT is used a lot in regard to taking profits. If I have a real order to get out at that price, what twenty three seventy two fifty, and I'm not filled, now you're you're done. You don't have to worry about it. You'd have to be worried about it now because prices are beginning to fall. And if you had your limit order and it's not filled and was waiting for your fill, you can see prices are beginning to fall down. That is the special reason of using an MIT. If you want to get out of that trade when prices reach a certain area, but you're not filled, that's what the MIT, market if touched, that's what it's used for. Now I'm showing you the $5 Dow, much different in regards to the potential of MITs, is because you can see there's a very small number of contracts in the $5 Dow at each bid and ask. Here you're looking at 38, 11, 10, 14. So at this particular time, it's actually pretty easily broken through a particular value. So the MITs are mostly used for stock indexes, 
are stocks that have a huge amount of volume that may not take several times in regards to exiting a trade. But when you have some contracts that are very, very small volume that prices easily can go through a particular price area. So the smaller volume that you see normally goes through rather easily in regards to limit orders, uh, trying to look out for a particular trade or a particular value. So again, that is what the MIT is for. You use that if prices trade it at a very important area and you want to make sure that I am out of this trade as soon as it touches this price. Instead of waiting to see whether or not I got filled or not, the MIT says I was touched but I was not able to get filled, so I will then go at market. It's the MIT. This is John Sheely at I'mADayTrader.com.